Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the, the new Buago Signature Series uh, Ferrari Daytona SB3 So this is a 118 scale die cast with full opening part It's the officially licensed product from the Buago, from the Ferrari actually um, So yeah, this is one of the kind actually So the actual car costs like 1.5 million So this one actually costs only about 70-80 uh, pounds I got it from the uh, Italian uh, model store called the Mondo from eBay, I think. And there are three sources I normally have in the Europe. Uh, I have CK model car from Germany, 118 models from the Poland, and then the Mondo from the Italy. Now those are from time to time I use them and if my source, main source in China, small end model car don't have them. And so small M motor car usually <laughs> provide me a lot of my models actually, so I have so many models from them. But the uh, unfortunately this uh, Daytona is not available in Chinese market. I don't know why. I asked the Buago official store, I asked my source in the small end motor car and none of them have it in China yet. So they're not out yet. So and I was gonna wait and I decided, you know what, I can't wait that long. <laughs> I decided to get it from Europe. So here we are and you can get it from Amazon as well. And they're selling it for about uh there's two versions. You got this uh red one with the brown interior, you got another red one, different color red by the way with the blue interior so that one is for somehow in amazon is selling for 76 pounds which is cheaper than the uh, the coupe version now the coupe version is exactly the same as the convertible because you can actually remove this roof so if you remove the roof the technically this is the convertible version so yeah i suppose this one is just to get this little plastic thing with a different interior um you're paying extra 20 pound more which is ridiculous. I, I don't understand how to justify the price. But then again, I assume that this is the most popular model compared to the other one. And there's also another version, which is a white one with the uh, some kind of like gray stripe in the middle. That is also another version. And that also looks nice. Uh, but the uh, I decided to go with this red one. Uh, I know that it's a more expensive, but I just don't care. <laughs> the reason why is I like this interior more because Ferrari always goes better with a red color with a brown interior. That is my favorite model for Ferrari. And the blue one looks weird. I don't know why. I just don't like the look of the blue interior. And also the, on the blue one, somehow they don't get painted on the dash. Now they do paint it inside at this chair, at the seat, sorry, not the chair. <laughs> and also door hand, door panel and stuff like that. But not on the dash. Why did they left it out? I don't understand. It was completely black. But uh, in this uh, coupe version, uh, they do have painted on that as well, which is good. And the white one also painted as well. And the white one is somehow cheaper as well. I don't know. I don't know why they're doing the different price for a different model. Anyway, so there we are. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, this is a box, by the way. You got official packaging. I love this packaging design, which is good. You got signature series at the bottom. You got Ferrari logos and everything. Um, yeah, it's all official products. It's not a fake, by the way. So yeah. And right, let's get started. So this is signature series. So it's supposed to be top end from the Buago. And the weight is not too heavy this is about 650 grand and i have the um, the other ferrari as well on my channel uh which is the um 296 gtb that one is the standard version so this is a signature version so let's compare the uh, these two see what is the difference so obviously they all have a suspension now uh, even the standard version has stand, uh, suspension which is good um the brightness and caliper are the same i think Calipers are the same, but the brake disc is not perforated in this one, somehow, which is shocking. I thought that it would be perforated, just like uh, you know my LaFerrari or the uh, the uh, previous uh, signature series that I have. But okay, <laughs> all right, small detail maybe I will, I can forgive that. But um, yeah, the main thing is you do have the. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, interior has the uh, there's a foot pedal on the silver one, but the and 
The standard version don't have it, but this one do. And painted interior, which is lovely. The interior is a lot nicer with the painted, with all the little dials and you know buttons and every detail. So if I zoom in a little bit, so you can see here for yourself, that it looks really nice. I love the interior of this. Um, so the, there is no sat nav or anything like that on there, but the, the sat nav is actually on the main dash, which is all built in and all blending together. So yeah, so. But it looks nice and also interior, the plastic feel softer and nicer. Um, so overall, I would say the uh, that's what you're paying for this signature series, I think, because the uh, better interior and painted and stuff. And also you got the, uh, what do you call it, this fire extinguisher as well. Um, yeah. And also, let's look at the uh, trunk. Trunk has a nicer... Uh, plastic or some kind of like foam effects which is make you feel like a carpet in there but actually just it's plastic and it's nothing exciting actually here but the uh, one thing that i like here is that <laughs> you get a flowery badging is nicer you see and this is glossy one uh silver and stick on it but then paint it and also one thing i like is the headlight can actually control so there's a button down here if you press it, it can't shut, right? If you press it again, it's open. So you can open and close this uh, headlight, basically. <laughs> that is that is cool feature. And also the headlight detail is not too bad. You got some kind of LED matrix like going on. Um, it's hard to tell in this time of the night, but it is there, you know? The wiper is, uh, I think is individual. Or is it individual? It is individual. Uh, it's kind of stick here, but it is there. Um, so you got Falari only, uh, you know, seat belts and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. The door panel is also painted as well, which is good. And then if I go to the back, then you can see the Falari badging. And then the logo here, uh, individual, rather than painted like the, uh, you know, the other models that I have and then you got engine bay so the engine bay has some depth as well so let me test it out yeah quite decent i would say and you got painted stuff around here as well but it's nothing here nothing here i don't know whether this is the way it is supposed to be in the real car as well i have no clue but uh <laughs> but this one has a little uh depth in there as well there's some stuff in here Carbon fiber effects on the plastic is really good. They are all nice and glossy, so which is really good. This is one thing I like about. There is a Ferrari badging inside all the way there. That's also there, so this is good. So in general, they do have quite a lot of little, little details there everywhere for this kind of model. So I'm happy with it generally. Um, so yeah. And the only thing that I would say is the uh, the pricing and uh, the price that you pay for is a little bit expensive. So it's 50 pound for my uh, 296 GTB, but this one is about 80 pound. So that's extra 30 pound more, right? If you go from Amazon, that's nearly 100 pound. 96 pound, that's nearly 100. So yeah, I don't know how to justify the price for the signature series, to be honest. Um, but they they do have uh, some nice detail. You can see the exhaust pipe is very, you know, big depth there. It goes all the way to about here. So it's decent, you know, decent. Um, yeah, so it is nice, but it's so expensive. I don't know why. Oh, by the way, there is a massive hole here. And uh, you can actually, I think the aerodynamic reason. So uh, this is all um see through actually this holes and there's another hole here on the door so they are all see through uh from the front which is nice you know um i really like this um so yeah so for the uh, coupe version all you gotta do is put this plastic which is glossy on the one side not on the other side all you gotta do is put it on there when you put it there, there is a little bit gap on the windows. I don't know if you can see it. It is a little bit gap there. So it is kind of not flash. You know, I was hoping that it, it is a bit more flash, but it's not. But the, um, yeah, um, if you don't notice it from far away, it's fine, you know. 
but uh, if you look closely there is de definitely a significant gap there um, but then again then I think at least it's protect the model from covering in dust <laughs> I suppose but uh, other than that it's not too bad right so there we are that's my review uh, I think it's good model but the price is so expensive for these signature series I'm not sure I can justify the price compared to the uh, standard 296 GTB. Of course, you do have nicer interior. Uh, for that alone, it's an extra 30 pound. That is crazy, you know. Uh, so, but anyway. Right, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next video.